Are you thinking of what you're going to do when you meet Alexei? I'll most likely have to fight him. Sounds like you've made up your mind. To be honest, I can't believe it even now. No, I think it's really that I don't want to believe it. I looked up to him for so long. I've desperately hoped that this was just some kind of mistake. Sorry, but I already know the answer to that. I know. Besides, the way he has treated Lady Esteles can't be explained away as simply a mistake. No objection there. Hey! Sir Flynn! You can just call me Flynn. What is it? Um, Flynn, you, uh, know what Yuri's done, don't you? You mean what he did to Rago and Kumor? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to arrest Yuri. At least, not right now. Then you mean you're going to arrest him after you bring Estelle back to the capital? Under Imperial law, the things that Yuri has done are serious crimes. After all, he killed two of the Empire's leading figures out of a personal grudge. Serious crimes? A personal grudge? But Yuri was... I know. Yuri certainly didn't do those things for his own sake. But that's how the law works. The corruption in the Empire is entirely irrelevant here. Are you perhaps in doubt? Confused about which way is right? I don't know. Is what I'm feeling doubt? Or is it... Hey, what are you doing? You're gonna get left behind, you know. Ugh, sorry. My, she's scary. Let's go.
still. I'll make this quick. I'm just getting started. What is this a statue of? With that kind of shape, I can't tell whether it's supposed to be a human or a monster. This is a temple after all. This is probably a statue of whatever deity the temple was dedicated to. You know, it might just be a statue of the Entelikea we saw outside. Huh? It couldn't be. I mean, a monster, that is. It's a... But they don't even look alike. No, I think it's possible. The Entelikea have powers beyond those of humans and can speak in our language. It's not strange to think that humans would have worshipped them in ancient times. The relationship between the Entelikea and humans might be closer than we thought. Maybe they drifted apart during the long, long passage of time. If, if that's the case, I wonder just how much we've forgotten. I'm sure there are things in this world that should never be forgotten. Patty? I think that I prefer the distance we have now to the cozy relationship we had back then. <laughs> Thank you. 
You'll be gone soon enough. Dragon!
still. I'll make this quick. the Royal Guard. That has to mean we're on the right track. Good call, Carol. Estelle's gotta be back there somewhere. You're a captain, aren't you? Can't you tell them to get out of the way? The Royal Guard doesn't obey anyone but the Commandant. We don't have much time. Let's make this quick. that's barely been studied at all. Even I've only seen something like this in books. I couldn't even guess how long a thorough analysis might take. I'm guessing we can't just force our way through. 
Locks usually aren't placed on anything that's easily broken into. Yeah, you're right. Wait, how do you think Alexei got through here? He probably forced the lock using Estelle's... the power of the Child of the Full Moon. Which means he made her use her power again. Lady Estelle's power. <sighs> Someone's here. Duke, why are you here? You? How is the young lady, the child of the full moon? Alexei's got her somewhere up ahead! I see. So he has made his move. Are you here because of him too? The air crenny in this region has become severely imbalanced. I have come to restrain it. By restrain? You mean you actually have a way to do that? To quiet the air crenne, the cause of the imbalance must be removed. Just come out and say it. You mean kill Estelle. What? That's enough. What is it with blaming all the world's problems on a single girl? An unstable child of the full moon cannot be ignored. You're as hard-headed as Pharaoh. I thought as a human you'd see things differently. Our common bond as humans is nothing. A single life cannot be privileged over the fate of the world. Yeah, never mind that without a bunch of those single lives, there'd be no world. Listen, she may be a bumbling, sheltered excuse for a princess, but she's one of ours. She's none of your concern, so back off! Do you say that knowing just how great a threat her existence poses? What we know has got nothing to do with it. Our motto is always do what's right. And if that means having to get up close and personal with you, then so be it. Very well. The time has come to show me the resolve that so impressed Pharaoh. This is De Nomos. It is the only manner in which the air may be quieted. Raise it and calm your mind. The sword will take care of the rest. Dane Nomos. Duke, wait! Dane Nomos. That's the name of the sword of the Imperial line that's been missing all this time. What are you doing with it? Why does something like that have the power to control the air? Who are you? The answers to those questions are not what you should be seeking now. Go, before you are too late. Soon, you will learn for yourselves the true weight of the burden borne by the Entelechea. <sighs> He's a cool guy, but way too moody. If my memory serves me right, we also ran into him in Gasparost. Who is he? I don't know. I can't even tell if he's a friend or a foe. Come on! That formula! It's just like Estelle's! So that sword really is... It opened! Dane Nomos, the child of the full moon, the resolve that impressed Pharaoh? Just who the hell is this Duke guy? Well, judging from what he says, it seems he's in contact with Pharaoh. And he has the sword Prince Yoder's been looking for. I don't like this. Yeah, but why would he just lend us something as important as De Nomos? I thought he was stubborn, but maybe he's actually willing to listen to reason. I wouldn't get my hopes up about that. We just have to do what we can for now. Yeah, let's hurry.
I can't believe this is Day Nomos, the proof of Imperial Secession. Yuri, you can become the Emperor! This is just for decoration. I wouldn't want to be the Emperor even if I could. You're so young, yet you have no ambition, says the little girl playing dress-up. The lost proof of Imperial Succession. When you get down to it, the loss of that sword was the source of all the fighting over the succession to the throne. Was Duke really the one who stole it? Hey, hey, give me a break. Don't go saying the Imperial Knights are going to claim this sword. I know. This isn't the time for that. Duke went around using that sword to control Air Crane. Oh, so Duke's doing the same thing as the Antilochia. Maybe so. That sword, it produced the same phenomenon as maybe the Rizomata formula was already worked out once before. But then, why was that information lost? Maybe it's related to the Cataclysm, like the way that the Blastia was lost. Why did that become an Imperial treasure? There are tons of things we don't know about this sword. But let's wait to figure them out until we've settled things here. Right now, rescuing Estelle is our top priority. Right, let's hurry.
A star. How does it feel to face your last moments in the very temple built to worship you? <laughs> Wretched human. Enough! Alexei, please stop this! <laughs> if you are so eager to free him from his suffering, why not use your healing arts to comfort him? <laughs> <laughs> You're utterly powerless. Alone, you are nothing more than a poisonous blight to this world. I'm sure you understand that now. Estelle, are you alright? Lady Esteles! Estelle! We've come to save you! You again. What stubborn, misguided fools you all are. Yuri, Flynn, all of you! Estelle! We've come to rescue you! <gasps> You are incapable of saving this princess. I am her only hope for salvation. Spare me! The most glorious moment for any tool is when it is finally used. Even the poison of this world can be a blessing if used correctly. And only I can do that. Now, princess, come with me. Without me, I am afraid your power... Alexei! you Entelakea supposed to be masters of this world? Stop it! Let us still go! Oh, how disappointing. He's dead. But how can that be? Smaller than I would have hoped. No matter. It can be used in any number of ways. Alexei! Ah, you've come this far. Now, be baptized in the air your dear princess charged with her own hands. What are you doing with that sword? What happened to Duke? He gave this to us before he took off. And he didn't seem all that worried about you. What irony. That which I have searched for all these years. That it would arrive at my feet only when I no longer have a need for it. With the child of the full moon, the apatheia, and my knowledge, De Nomos means nothing to me. Talk to yourself a lot, huh? Not a good sign. Now shut up and let Estelle go! <laughs> Are you certain that is what the princess wants? Estelle! <sighs> Your Highness? Estelle! What's going on? Estelle! I... I don't know. What are you talking about? As long as I'm with you all, I'll only cause you harm. But I want to be with you. I just don't know what I should do. Estelle, pull yourself together. Forget about that, Estelle. Get over here! If there's something you're unsure about, we'll work it out together! Yuri! Uh, I... I can't take this! Now, now, Mr. Yuri Lowell. Such brash behavior does not befit a young lady's escort. Not very gentlemanly of you at all. Sorry for my lack of manners. There aren't many gentlemen where I'm from. That sword is nothing more than an annoyance now. I will rid myself of you here. Yuri! Everyone! Get out of the way! Who's he? Captain Schwann! I thought you always let your knights handle things for you. What's with the change? What is it, Repeat? I suppose there's no fooling the nose of a dog. Uh, 
That voice. Wait. Huh? The old man? What's going on? This doesn't look like a joke. One of the Union's most important members is a captain in the Knights? The first time we met, I didn't think it was possible, but... Huh. So that's what was going on. Wait! But what about the Dawn, Raven? So it wasn't just the Commandant, but you too. Why? Conversing with you is not one of my duties. Raven! We're in a bit of a hurry, so let us through. Wait... You're not really thinking of trying to stop us, are you? What the hell? Schwan Olterain, first captain of the Imperial Knights. Ready to do battle. Sorry, I'm not gonna go easy just because you're old. I would be honored to fight with everything I have. Captain, I never thought I'd have to fight you. I usually... This opportunity has come. I hate you! Many people hate me. You should be like that all the time. Sorry, this is the last time you'll see it. I can't let this go. I won't let you do this! I would expect no less from an opponent. You are an enemy to me, and you...
I'll take out anyone who tries to stop us. <laughs> What is that? Huh. I would have thought such a blow would be the end of me. Of this cursed body. What the? Is that a blastia on his chest? It's his heart. Or rather, a blastia that has taken its place. The original was lost ten years ago. Ten years? You mean in the Great War? I lost my life during that war. But Alexei saw fit to give it back to me with this. It's hard to believe he'd go that far. So that must be a Hermes Blastia as well. Why did Ba'ul not notice it then? I would imagine that is because it isn't powered by air, but by my own life force. A Blastia powered only by human vitality? No way! What was that? would be Alexei. He intends to bury you alive. But that's crazy. You're still in here. <laughs> he couldn't pass up a chance to dispose of that sword, now that it's of no use to him. So he was using Estelle to lure Duke here. This guy's even more twisted than I thought. Hey, old man! This is no time to be standing around! The end has finally arrived for me. You never intended to leave this place alive. Captain Schwan. You said you just get to lay down and die right here. Even if all your travels with us were just some joke to you. Are you trying to tell me your anger at the Dawn's death was just an act too? I thought the guilds never quit until the job was done. Wasn't that his dying wish? You go on living till the end. You really can be a downer sometimes, you know that? Now step to it! Come now. 
Stuck with another job nobody much wants? It's nothing. We are actually in a hurry. The Heracles is gone! Just like Raven said, they must have left for Zophius already. Y Yuri Lowell! What are you doing here? And Captain Flynn, too? LeBlanc? Even Tweedle A and Tweedle B are here. And I what say, is a Tweedle? Out with it! Fools! This is not the time for nonsense! What wonderful timing, Captain Flynn! You didn't happen to see Captain Schwann, did you? We haven't been able to get a hold of him since he went by himself to coordinate with His Excellency the Commandant. I honestly cannot understand what His Excellency is thinking lately. We looked all over for him and we finally arrived here, but... <sighs> Alexei is on his way to the capital. And... Ah, we've just missed him then. And what about Captain Schwann? R Schwann saved us! Oh, did he now? So then he's aboard the Heracles as well? He's in the shrine. The deepest part. What? Wait, you... No, this is not happening. What is the meaning of this? Captain Flynn, answer me! We almost died thanks to Alexa. The only reason we're standing here now is because of your captain! That man was a true knight. Alexei apparently has some sort of secret plan for the Empire. We're going to make sure he doesn't get the chance to carry it out. If you are any kind of knights at all, you won't stand in our way. But how? How could it have come to this? If we don't hurry, the Heracles is going to get away! Let's hurry. I'll call Ba'ul. Oh. 